In this video we're going to show you how easy it is to use our PTZ camera to set presets. So I'm going to enter in the IP address into my web browser. In this case, this camera happens to uh, accept Chrome and um, I'm going to log in with my username and password. No, don't. So as long as you know your IP address for your PTZ camera, you can just simply type it into the web browser and log in. Some PTZs are specific for Internet Explorer, others can work on Chrome. They can even work on Edge, but sometimes we find Edge has issues rendering video, so this is why I chose to use uh, Chrome here. So PTZ camera, once you log in, you can you know, sc scan left and right, and even uh, zoom in and zoom out. The problem with that is that sometimes you want to be able to set specific targets where you can set a preset. Uh, let me explain here. For example, I want to set this to be a preset one as easy as something like I go here, hit preset one and go to, and it would go there and show me this view. So the way to set that is go into setting and under on the left hand side menu here you would look for PTZ and function. And you can set under presets a number of presets and then tour and this is a joystick that lets you control uh, how the camera is oriented before you hit the save button. So let's say um, in your case you would have nothing here. I'm going to delete this old preset that I made in this camera. It says operation succeed. Every time you hit save or delete it'll update here on the bottom. So I'm going to save this view as preset 1 and press the floppy disk here and saved it. Now I'm going to use this on-screen control to change the view. Now I, I, I have the the camera located inside our office looking outside our window just for ease of uh, making the video quickly for a demonstration and you can actually I'm trying to do some finite movements so that's why it may look a little jerky in movement you can even go really finite movements if you're trying to really s s narrow down on the spot you want the camera to go to and let's say you're doing this for something mission critical so now I'm gonna set it back to five because I want to go on and look into that area here and then hit preset now you ha have to click on this floppy disk to save it if you don't it's not gonna do anything and you're gonna walk away from it not doing anything now I'm gonna zoom all the way out and I'm gonna hit another one and you can do any number of presets you want every camera has a certain limit to it now this is a 4 megapixel PTZ with a 2.8 to 12 millimeter lens to give you some perspective as to what you're seeing. Of course, if you had a um, 12x or 25x lens, you would be able to see it further uh, and get more detail. But uh, this is what 4x 2.8 to 12 millimeter lenses offer here. So now I have finished setting up my presets. If you wanted to uh, delete these you would hit one of these buttons which I don't want to do here now if you wanted to call a tour where it kept going through the set uh, a sequence of presets you had you would go to the tour menu hit add to add more tours if you wanted in my case I had a previous tour which is here now I click on it and then I hit add and I'm gonna add a preset to it my first preset let's say is this one I double clicked on it you can slightly see it says preset here it's actually calling when I hit it now if I double click here I can change it to preset 2 if I double click on the top one I can change that to preset 2 and then preset 1 and I can call preset 2 again any sequence you want and you can keep on doing that but notice it's not giving my other presets it seems like I must have messed up so and I did so let's uh, go back to what this preset was, I double clicked on it. This is preset 2. This is preset 1. So let me set back my preset 3. I must have inadvertently forgotten to set preset 3. And the reason I did that is to show you exactly don't make that mistake. So if you go through this video setting 15 presets and you find out your third, everything after your first preset is missing, this is the reason you want to make sure you click on that floppy disk icon and wait for the operation succeeded messages to appear so uh, hit this hit the floppy disk wait for this to appear and you've got now your presets there and here we go I still have my four presets go into tour 
select the tour, add it if it doesn't one doesn't exist above, and then start adding the uh, presets you want on here. So I got one. I'm just going to go through my sequence of four presets. And then here I've got all four. Hit the save button, wait for this message to appear. Once everything's done, go to live view. And now if I wanted to, I can individually call a preset if I remembered what it was. calling preset 1, preset 3, preset 4. Oh, no. yeah. Now let's say I wanted to leave this on a tour. I'm going to select the tour option number 1 that's you know this thing supports up to 8 tours. I configure the first tour and I just leave on running. Now and while you're watching the camera on the web browser, this will keep on doing that. And what it's doing is, through every preset, every time it gets to a preset, it's going to have a 15 second dwell time. It's going to wait here for 15 seconds before moving to preset 2, like you see it happening right now. Now, this is going to be going on on the camera. Uh, once you call it and you turn it off uh, from the web browser, but the camera's still running, let's say your camera has a micro SD card, you can configure it to keep on running like this and and you know, just on its own, and it can keep on recording video if you had it. Uh, or you can even watch it using our um, central monitoring software if you're using it on a Windows or Mac. Uh, what it does is you can do the similar thing through the software itself, or what just watch it, and it'll keep on just rotating through and doing its tour. Uh, this is a quick and easy video to show you how to do presets and tours with our IP PTZ cameras. Thank you for watching.